Coming up on the vision eviction. If you're interested in becoming a member today on the channel, click this join button. We have loads of perks here for you to choose from. The first is only £2. So guys, if you want to support the channel even more and take it to the next level, this button might just be for you. All right, so you got someone strafing. Let me join him. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's get it. All right, all right, okay, I think that's enough now. Anyway, welcome back to another Division 2 video. I hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, man. Before we get into this build video and before I lay down the information on this build, I just want to say guys, this series that I'm about to tell you about is a spin-off from my old series called Addiction Reacts. Now if you guys have not seen that series, you can go to my playlist and watch them. I made the series around last year, May time. Um, if, like I said, if you're new, please do check that. But basically, we're going to be doing a thing called Montage Mondays. Now it's very simple. It's going to be a 10 minute video where there's going to be hella PvP clips including myself, including my clan members, including anyone else that wants to submit their clips to my email which is divisionaddiction at gmail.com. It's the same way I used to do things with Addiction Reacts so just make sure you send me your clips there, maybe around 5 minutes long I'd say or whatever length you think is best for you alongside your gamer tag and I will put you in the montage every single Monday as long as you send your clips weekly so yeah I would say every Friday and Saturday just send your clips through if you want it to be weekly as I will be editing the videos most likely on a weekend which will then be put out on the Monday so guys remember this series isn't something that I would usually do on a channel the way I edit the videos will be much different and I'm going to be showcasing you some new things that are going to be put across in them videos guys so make sure you stick around for that i would really appreciate it as a lot of time and effort has gone into this so make sure you guys email your pvp clips to divisionaddiction at gmail.com okay it's in the description it's in the pinned comment i got you guys so guys make sure you hit that like button 100 plus likes if you want to see the content flow throughout the week i got you okay let's dive straight into this build so as you can see i'm sitting at 1.4 million armor now you're probably looking at the pieces like, okay dear, I kind of see what you're trying to do, but I need some more information. So for our pieces, we are actually running a DNH mask, the Ridgeway's chest piece, the Providence holster, Murakami knee pad, Bowstone armory glove, and the Golem backpack. Now before we get into the pieces and the attributes, let me go into my weapons. So you're probably looking at this like, why are you running two SMGs? Really and truly guys, I'm not even maining these two weapons. We are maining a pistol. So the reason why I have these two guns here is for a distraction. So that's the purpose. When someone comes up to me, I'm going to be shooting them with my SMG and they're going to think I have an SMG build on. Then all of a sudden when they start focusing me, I bring out my shield and my pistol and they're like, wait, what the hell is going on here? So it's like a distraction which kind of puts them off, makes them a bit, you know, nervous. Like, oh, what's going on? Gets me to get them out quick headshot two tap and they're done <laughs> okay maybe not a two tap but listen guys it hits very hard all right so these two guns i am not maining at all but you can make an smg build with that bleed if you want i do have the build on my channel in the playlist you can check that out it should be there so yeah this actually hits hard with these smgs um yeah man go to what you want to go towards but this build we are focusing on the liberty okay this pistol here this exotic pistol which comes with 433 k damage the rolls on here are decent guys what does this gun do okay so hits grant plus two percent weapon damage which stacks up to 30 times headshots consume all stacks repairing your shield for three percent per stack okay guys so that's why this gun works very well with the big shield which is this skill here okay so if you want to run this build i would suggest using a bulwark shield now again guys, I know some of you are like, oh why is it always shield builds, why is it always that, but listen, I do do builds where it's not shield builds, it's just, you know, regular gunfight builds. I did upload that video previously, so you can check that build out, 
but for today's one man <laughs> we are using the big table shield all right so that's why i'm using you know these guns and i am main in the liberty but let's go straight into our pieces so like i said for the first piece we are running a dnh mask which is the named one called punch drunk okay which comes with plus 20 percent pistol damage and remember for my specialization i have upgraded and put pistol damage on that as well so make sure you do that but with this mask it comes with an attribute which is in yellow which is a named attribute of an extra 20 percent headshot damage for your pistol guys okay so this does come with hazard protection as i did roll that there we've got headshot damage for the mod slot and weapon damage on top you guys can roll this however you like you don't even have to run this mask if you don't want to hit headshots but for me and my opinion i would say efficiently aim at the head with the liberty and you will see a difference it does reward you very well okay so for the chest piece the ridge race chest this comes with weapon damage on top crit chance crit damage and a mod slot of headshot damage again because we're going towards that and what does this chest piece do okay so shooting enemies within 15 meters applies bleed to the target repairs 3 to 48 percent of your armor per second for every enemy that is bleeding within 15 meters so guys i'm telling you now that's all you got to do is shoot them and make them bleed within 15 meters okay with this pistol headshots <laughs> it is disgusting okay it actually hurts them quite a lot and you're gonna see why in a second so i really do like this chest piece a lot of people do use it you know you may come across it as being cheesy or whatever but this build is just it's, it's crazy at the moment i'm not gonna lie so for the whole stuff provenance why are we running one provenance piece this is because of the 15 percent headshot damage there again we are going towards that heavily so armor on top crit damage and headshot damage on the bottom attribute there for the knee pad, we actually are running the Emperor's Guard knee pad, which is the Murakami piece, which comes with armor on top, armor regen, and has a protection. It's all there, guys, okay? I would rather have headshot damage on the bottom there but I'm not complaining about hazard protection it does help me here and there especially with them skill players so put that into consideration but yeah if you want to put headshot damage on there whoo that would be nice okay so for the glove bellstone armory we have one piece which comes with one percent armor regen this is to keep us alive this keeps us up you know at least we got some regen in this build just to you know protect us from them players that really want to focus us and we can survive in certain situations we've got armor on top has a protection and headshot damage there for you okay so for the backpack golem piece what does it come with 10 percent status effects armor on top crit damage crit chance and a mod slot of critical hit damage which i would change to headshot damage Yes, we can use that piece right there. I can actually change that crit chance there and put headshot damage if I like, but I think this backpack is also for my other bleed build. So I do like to keep pieces that are recalibrated for certain reasons, but if I really wanted the extra headshot damage, I can go and roll that there. So that's basically the build, that's the attributes, that's the pieces. But for the skills I am running, the shield, like I said, the bulwark shield is actually the main thing for this build with this pistol. And I'm running the jammer. Now, why am I running the jammer? I'm actually running the jammer because we have wicked on this backpack, okay? Which is basically when you apply a status effect, it increases your weapon damage by 18% for 27 seconds. Okay, so who doesn't want this? All you got to do is use your jammer and that's a status effect onto them. It's going to stop them from using their skills for a little bit and that's basically going to apply Wicked, which is going to give you that extra 18% weapon damage. We also have the bleed. There's a lot of damage going throughout this build, okay? Headshots, everything. So that's why we've got bleed there and Wicked just to actually synergize together to be very strong, okay? So make sure you put that into consideration. That's why we've got the jammer and that's why we have the shield. So let's go straight to the stats. So as you can see, we're sitting at 204% headshot damage there. It's very high. Okay guys, if you wanna have more than that, go ahead. But for me, that is enough, man. And we have the bleed to get them out. There's a lot going on on this build and I feel like it is definitely something that you guys can put together. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, if you want to be part of Montage Mondays, just send me your PvP clips to divisionaddiction at gmail.com and I'll be putting you in the montage, okay? It's going to be very different to what you see on my channel. Make sure you do send your clips there. I will put it in the pinned comment. I'll put more information in the description for you to read. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Click that bell notification. And if you like the video, smash 100 likes onto this one. I would really appreciate it. It's been Division Addiction and I'm out, man. Peace.
装逼啊，装逼啊，这逼让你装的，就让你堂堂他妈教育给你啊。